So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we'll cover this amazing lab that is a build an LLM and track based chat application using AllowDB and Langchamp. So first of all click on start lab and here you can see it's showing that estimated time remaining so you need to wait for it okay you need to wait for this time to complete and then we'll be starting the lab so let's move ahead. So finally now the lab is started now you have to just open the cloud console in incognito window now if you're new to this channel do like the video and subscribe the channel now here it is getting signed in automatically okay so here it is getting signed in automatically here you may get this kind of pop-up you have to just click on i agree and then click on agree and continue okay now after this thing basically we have to, if you get this kind of pop-up click on agree and continue now we have to click on it to activate the cloud shell now here you have to uh, you will be asked to click on continue and then authorize yourself so first of all do these things okay first of all you have to do these things and then we'll proceed to the lab authorize and continue now the cloud shell will be live so first thing i will do is that to increase the font size because many of you are doing using mobiles so first of all we will set the environment okay the first thing is that they have mentioned that we had to initiate SSH session. So for that copy this and paste over here. Now chances are there. First thing is that you have to type Y and then hit enter. Basically wait for a few seconds. And here if you get this hit enter twice. Now chances are there you may get this kind of error. I am showing this. I haven't cut this part. So in that case what you need to do. You need to wait for a few seconds and then run the command again. Now again what you have to do what I have said you have to type Y and then hit enter twice. So if it asks then only ok. Now the first thing is that we are installing the software which are required to perform the task in this lab and will be in the Postgres directory ok. So first thing is that we have to export the password ok. We are exporting the password first of all you can see we have initiated the SSH session ok. Now after that we are just initializing basically connecting our instance. So first we will export the password. So just export the password. What is the password? This is our password. Okay. If it asks for password you should remember it. Okay. Now the next thing is that we will export the variables. So basically the region and cluster. Now here we have to just exit it. Okay. So just click on exit and after that we will initialize the database. So for initializing the database you have to run this command in the VM instance basically here paste it. Now you can see database has been created. Now we have to enable the tension. Ok so copy it and paste over here. Now the next step is that we have to check the score. Ok so let's check the score for task number 1 and then we will be installing sorry task number 2 then we will be installing the python. So let's start first of all run this command on your VM shell. Hit enter it will take some time. So wait for it and once the shell is idle we will move forward to the next step. So finally here you can see it's idle now. Now what we have to do we have to just come over here and the next step is that we have to just populate the database ok. We will clone the repository first of all over here. And it will take some time to clone so wait for it. Meanwhile in case you haven't liked the video yet do like the video and subscribe the channel. Now run the next command basically these are the configuration files which are being used for this SSH instance. Now you can see these are the outputs which must be present on the shell. I think we have seen it before. Can you mention the commands and can you make sure that what does these commands do? Comment down below if you know the answer. Now we'll move forward to the next step of this lab. So let's move and the next step is that we have to run the install command. So just paste over here and hit enter. It will take some time again. Finally here the SSH session is now idle. Okay. Now it's idle. So the next step is that we'll run the next command. So can you guess which is the next command? First we will check the score. Yes, we have to basically deploy the server services to the cloud run. 
so for that you have to click on this plus icon okay click on this plus icon and here basically we'll add some permissions so what we'll add permissions so let's come to the lab instructions and then we'll export the permissions and set it okay now if you haven't checked the other playlist and want to complete skill badges you can check the description of the video now let's export these values so it's taking some time finally the permissions have been enabled now what you need to do you can do one thing you can first of all check the score and you can do one thing you can close it directly or type exit it will be closed automatically now the time is for deploying the cloud run service so just run it and wait for time basically it will take some time basically 5 to 10 minutes it may take or even lesser also now one more important thing is that if you face any kind of error wait for two minutes and then rerun the command to complete the lab Once you see the basically the CLI is idle, you have to just come over here and run the export command. Okay, we are just running the export command and finally we have authenticated it. Now we have to create the client ID. So we are in the last task of this lab. Okay, we are in the last task of this lab. So the first thing is that you have to just go to the API and library section. Just go to the navigation option and from here you can see API and libraries. Click on auth consent screen and here basically we will create the auth client and then we will create the client also okay now the first thing is that you can refer to these modules and understand everything and we'll be covering each thing do not worry you will get 100 out of 100 in this lab and this lab is very easy i think it might be a little bit lengthy still we'll be able to complete the lab fully so just wait for some time and let's explore it so basically we have to create a client only okay now here they have not mentioned any name so we will use any name but I will recommend the name which I am using only that use name because chances are there you may face issue or the lab may get updated as per the lab instruction. So now let's move ahead just come to the console page. Now here you have to click on get started and for the app name they have not mentioned the app name still use this name as they have mentioned in the screenshot. Now select the user email, click on next and internal, again next and for the email address, copy the email address from here, then click on next and create. Now here you have to just click on I agree and then click on create. So basically we are creating the consent app and then basically we are creating the consent. Now we have to create the client. Basically we are creating the auth client now. Now you have to just click on it. How you have to navigate? Let me show you like this from api and libraries to the auth consent screen now here you have to click on create auth client now here the main part is regarding the urls only so now you have to pay attention to each and everything now that this thing will be your web application and here there is no mention of the names so we don't change the name now regarding the url you need to pay attention so here they have mentioned the url which was present on the basically on our cloud shell so how you'll find it i'll show that also so let me move to that step over here on the cloud shell and just scroll up because i thought wait a second because i thought that the link was not to be used in next step still if you want to find you have to just scroll up like this So here is the URL. You have to just copy it. You can just use right click and copy or just directly open it and copy. Now here you have to click on add URL and just paste over here. Now you have to just remove this slash mark and then you can see we have to add another URL also. That is 8081 semicolon 8081 and then we have to add the redirects also. So how we will do? Do not worry. We will cover everything in this video. 
if you are following this video then you will surely get uh, here sure. what you need to do come back to that page same page that was basically the auth page auth client page and click on add url now paste the same url and just remove this slash mark and you can see it's 8081 whatever you it's present in the lab if they update you have to add like this now we have to add a redirect url so for the redirect url just come over here and paste it like this in copy the previous url and then just add slash login slash google okay then make sure there is no spelling mistake now once you have done all these things you have to just save it okay once you have done all these things cross verify once again and then click on create it will take some time you can see here it may take five minutes to complete now you may get the score instantly or you may need to wait for at least two to five minutes so you can do that thing and here we'll get the score do not worry and if you like the way i have solved this lab do like the video and subscribe to the channel regarding other labs and challenge labs you can check the description box for skill badges too that